All right, ma'am, what are we doing today? Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Nini. In today's video, we're going to be making ground stew chicken. Now, let me just say, I'm not a chef, okay, by no means. Uh, we just moved into our house, and if you see my previous videos, you already knew that. And I have just enjoyed cooking in my kitchen. So with that said, I figured, um, you know, tonight's going to be a tasty meal. After this, Brandon and I are going to go to the movies. But um, I just wanted to get, um, get started with this first and show it to you guys. So for this recipe, you're going to need some chicken. Um, I just took it off the fridge. And then these are all of the seasonings that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using Cajun seasoning, black pepper, garlic salt, Creole seasoning. Yes, believe it or not, we're going to be using ketchup. Chili powder, ground ginger, ground allspice, smoked paprika, um, garlic powder, complete seasoning, black pepper, and uh, Maggi, uh, Maggi seasoning as well. And as far as like our other little dressings and stuff, we're going to need thyme, scallions, uh, garlic and onions that as I well chopped. as huh <laughs> that I chopped that oh yes that Brandon chopped <laughs> as well as um, bell peppers now I love bell peppers this might seem like a bit much but it's because I love them so damn much um, also I'm going to be adding potatoes to the mix because I really also do um, just love potatoes and any sort of like stew or anything like that it's just so hearty and full but um, anyway without further ado let's get started when I um, used to watch my mom cooking, like growing up and stuff, we never really measured anything, kind of just eyeballed everything. So I'm just going to have at it. And uh, yeah, bear with me. Actually, maybe I should. Where are the measuring spoons? <laughs> In the drawer over there. Mm. All right, so let's say we're going to do, I don't know, we got, I'm going to say, uh, we got a lot of chicken. Oof, I hate looking at chicken on camera. That's just me though. Um, so I probably am going to do about a tablespoon or half a tablespoon depending on the seasoning um, into the bowl. So let's do this. Oh my gosh, that's going to take too much time. Just take the caps off people. to do chili powder. I think I'm going to only do half a teaspoon of this though. Oopsies. There's your full teaspoon. <laughs> right. I'm move these out the way since I already used them. Um, for the black pepper, I'm actually just going to sprinkle it a little bit. I could just get it open. Boom. ginger powder, only a little because a little goes a long way. <laughs> Scooch it over. Grail seasoning, just a little bit, because why not? I did like half a teaspoon of that, I just put it in the wrong one. <laughs> um, the allspice tops one I just need to there we go oopsies garlic powder and then last but not least smoked paprika all right and now we're just gonna take all of those seasonings and mix them up. What's over here? Over right here, I am making um, uh, uh, rice and peas. Um, but I do. I was thinking about doing that in the same video, but honestly, um, both both meals are kind of just a bit much to kind of oversee both at the same time in the same video so if you guys want to see that kind of video let me know you know what i'm saying just comment down below but other than that i like my um we like our brown stew chicken with rice and peas um speaking of which on on there for 45 minutes our seasonings are all mixed up we're gonna come over here to our dressings 
and I'm just gonna chop this up. Chop up the onions or green onion, however you prefer to call it. And then chop up my peppers. I already chopped up some of them to save time. Probably just gonna speed through this. Alright everybody, so everything is all cut up as you can see. Um, I'm going to take my bowl of chicken and take the seasoning and I'm just going to sprinkle that on there. So as I'm doing that, I'm just going to move the chicken around and make sure that the seasoning is getting everywhere. Normally what I would do is take all of the, like the toppings and stuff and mix it into my chicken But the thing is I'm gonna take my chicken out and I'm gonna put it in a pot and brown it And I'm not gonna mix that with the veggies as I'm doing it because I don't want them to burn So instead so I could still get like, you know seasoning all over like my bell peppers and stuff I'm gonna just mix it in here um, and then this, uh, the Maggie seasoning, I'm gonna add it to both bowls because I would add, my next step would, you know, after adding this to that, would be add the Maggie seasoning. So, um, just like, here, just like here. All right, so I'm just gonna take this and that and this. Um, the garlic, I feel like I'm just gonna actually add that to the chicken. Okay, boom. So that takes care of that. Let me rinse my hands off. And now, to add my seasoning. So remember guys, this should be all in one bowl. But like I said, I don't want to pick around, you know, pick around the bell peppers to pick out the chicken so for it to go in here. In fact, let's get this baby started. So I'm just gonna put a good amount in there as well as in here. What is Maggie for? I don't know, I used to always see my mom cook with it. She brings out the flavor. That, I think that's what it is. <laughs> okay. no, it says it on the bar. Oh, does it? Yeah. I don't know. My mom makes always cook with it. Ah, look at all those pretty colors. It's definitely Instagram worthy. Yes, it is. I'll make a reel. <laughs> all right. Now, let's get to our olive oil. Am I going to put a lot in there? Because like I said, the chicken has to brown. Once you know this is starts to get like hot, hot enough, not too hot, you don't want your oil to burn. We're gonna add our chicken in there. That's hot enough. Now back up so it doesn't burn you or anything. because there's a lot of seasoning juice at the bottom of it, if you will. So what I'm actually gonna do after I let this brown for a little bit is I'm gonna um, fill this up with water, not all the way, but about halfway, and I'm gonna dump that in there, but um, that way we can create more of like a stew. Hey Siri, stop. 
that way we can create more of like a stew but um, for now we're just gonna let it brown just like this so I'm actually just gonna cover it because I want it to get very nice and hot and then periodically I'll just come check on them thank you and as I mentioned before, if you want to see the video, I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, Melissa, what we got? All right, so now I'm going to peel my potatoes because I want to add them when uh, the chicken is done being browned. I'm not doing this like the most easy way, am I? <laughs> I want to add them when my chicken is done being brown and I add more water to the pot so I can start to stew that way my potatoes can boil at the same time. Let me do this part. Okay. And your husband. The peeling is actually my thing. Yeah. Professional peeler, y'all. Link in bio, serious inquiries <laughs> only. <laughs> That's crazy, look. Holy shit. Okay, you know what? This is actually way too easy for me, man. What's the trick, babe? <laughs> Tell us. You already know, man. What? It's all in the knees. <laughs> You're so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so the chicken is brown, or getting brown rather. Um, after we are done cutting up the potatoes, I'm gonna go ahead and add in, actually, I'm gonna add this in right now, because why not? So let me take this baby off. Boom. And then, and turn that down for a little bit. I need to let me turn the water on. Up with water. Perfect. Now we're gonna add our ketchup. Okay. Wait. And um, the little square. Now we're gonna add our ketchup. I just realized that this wasn't open yet. I go through a lot of ketchup because I use it in a lot of our meals, even my spaghetti. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. That should be good. A little more. <laughs> this is the end product of the potato. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so y'all see these? I'm gonna snap and they're all gonna be cut up after the snap. One, two, oh, whoops. That's more like it. Okay, so we're gonna put these potatoes in this bad boy and we're gonna let it simmer for about 20, 25 much more minutes and we should be done. Here we in the pot. Oh my goodness. If you guys could smell this, this bursting is big. I'm just gonna close that for now. All right, boom, okay. finale. It is finally the finale. I still have it kind of cooking on high, but honestly it's done. Done for. Done though. We're a little bit of in a rush now because we're gonna head to our date. Look at all the colors. <laughs> so good it does. Alright, fam. Like I said, we got a movie date to go watch Venom. I'm sure you've heard of it. I hope you all are well. Thank you so much for watching this video. And y'all, a lot of people who aren't subscribed watch my videos y'all need to subscribe help a girl out well, stay tuned for the next video till next time folks bye